Hi and welcome to Let's Talk eBay. My name is Rich Bassini. Today is November 14, 2019. Thank you for tuning in. I just want to start off by saying thank you to all the new subscribers who recently subscribed to my channel. I hope you like the content and you come back for more. For those who are new, I do the reseller news and Let's Talk eBay segments. This channel, for all intents and purposes, is to help the online reseller by sharing news and information and tips and tricks on eBay, and hopefully you guys will get a take away from it. So without further ado, I want to just go into a window, and uh, I just want to talk about my sales. Kind of, it's kind of slow. I'm going to throw some in uh, October and some in November in there. However, it is November 14th, so the month ain't over. I will maybe do a follow-up, depending on how many sales I get. But I just want to show you what sold uh, for the month of October and beginning of uh, November. So without further ado, let's go right to it. Okay, this is what I sold for the month of October. Not too bad, not too good. I wish it could have been more consecutive. I wish I had sales every single day. There's kind of like a little skip in sale uh, in days, I should say. But anyway, I'm not going to do the, um, you know, September part. Like I said, again, I just want to try to keep this video as short as possible. Um, my the video is going to be is uh, what's trending on eBay for 2019. That's the title. I'm sorry I didn't throw that out in the beginning. I do apologize. Uh, anyway, um, so we got over here this ultra woman's bathrobe, soft plush pink size, extra large. I had it for $8.99. They made an offer, I think, of $6.99 or something along that line, and I took it just to get rid of it. They pay for shipping. A lot of the items that you're going to see here are with shipping. I don't, I can't, I don't offer free shipping on a lot of my items. I wish I could, but I don't get the merchandise that cheap, folks. I'm sorry, but anyway. Uh, we got that, that, that sold. Um, over here, the VHS tape rewinder, super slim classic uh, rewinder. I put it up for $4.99, and that's what I got. They paid for the shipping, as you can see here. This one here, this North Face Girls Winter Coat, they bought at the right time, of course. Uh, it's a large, extra large. Uh, really good condition, really clean. I had it for $49.99. I think they offered me, if I'm not mistaken, I think $39.99, something along that line. I took the offer and uh, because I had it sitting around for a while, so uh, they paid the shipping and handling on it. But um, so far, it's been gone and I uh, haven't heard anything from it, so I'm, I'm assuming it's good. I'm assuming they love it. Um, it would be nice if they left uh, you know, feedback on it, but that's okay. This one over here is a Marled, uh, Marled, yeah, Marled uh, Reunited Clothing Sweater size small uh, I had it for $7.99 they offered me I think $5.99 for it I took the offer and the shipping they paid for okay this one here I had for $9.99 they offered me $7.99 I think for it I took the offer they again they paid for the shipping the Under Armour Women's Talk Blue Size Medium uh, workout shorts I guess you call them this one here, the Caboodle, uh, Caboodles Large Makeup Weekend Travel Bag Case Black. Um, they, I had it for $9.99. They offered me, I think, seven. I think it was seven. I think it was seven ninety nine. Something along that line. I know, you know, people always want a deal, whether they're getting a dollar, two dollars. They want to feel like they got a deal, you know. So I, I don't mind. I mean, you know, this stuff has been laying around, so I need to get rid of it and stuff. But they paid the shipping and everything, so uh, you know. And as you can see here, I offer all free returns on a lot of my mer uh, merchandise as well. These here, Soda Lace Up Boot Size, uh, yeah, Lace Up Boot, Woman Size, uh, Size 8 with the black. Uh, I had it for $7.99. Some I think it offered me 5 and change for it. I took it. I mean, it's, it's been sitting around. I wanted to get rid of it. So, uh, hey, why not? The same thing with this one here, Forever 21, tan long sleeve crop top size, uh, small. Uh, this was $7.99. I think they offered me five for it. I think either $4.99 or $5.99, if I'm not mistaken. They paid for the shipping and handling. This one here was trending. Now, look at this one. This one here, I kind of like took a beating on it. I know I shouldn't have done it. I should have held out, but you know, I wanted to get rid of it so bad. I had it for $29, but you can see it was trending at $64. Um, I had it for $29.99. I took a beating on this one, folks. I had to be the first. I had to honestly be on. You know, I had to be honest with you guys. Um, and I, they offered me, I think, 27 and change. I took it. Um, I should have held out because if you could see here, it says it's trending at $64 back then. So, you know, I guess some people are looking for a bargain. This one here I had for $39.99. This one, if you notice, there's no trending. On, on the red one, it was trending, but not the yellow. Um, this year, they were offering me, I put it up for $39.99. I, um, I took, I think it was for $37. They made an offer at $37 and change. I took it. They paid the shipping and handling. I think going forward, if I get these here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, do a little more research on these and not be so forthcoming and uh, giving them practically giving them away. I could have got some more money for it, as you can see here. This is eBay's trending, not mine. 
Okay, this one here, uh, this HP LaserJet 1020 laser printer with toner, USB printer cable included. Very nice printer, tested, worked great, works great. I put up for 100, I got 100 for it. They paid the shipping and handling on it. So far, everything was good. This one here I sent out um, with this particular one. This was going to New York City, I believe, and uh, it was going to an apartment. And I put uh, signature delivery confirmation on this here. Um, I want to make sure because when it goes to an apartment building, I want to make sure that the person who bought this thing is going to sign for it. I don't want to hear anything because I don't know. I don't think they, I don't think the letter carrier will bring it up to the apartment and leave it there. But I don't know how that works actually. But anyway, I put signature delivery confirmation on it just to play it safe. This one here, I put it for four ninety nine. I don't. I think they offered me free change, whatever. I took it. Well, you can see the shipping was expensive. Well, pricey. Um, I took it. I know small, really small sales. I mean, really small sales. This one here, this Brookstone Lux Plus Scarf Dark Brown, nap soft material, uh, one size. It's I have a seven ninety nine. I took a best offer. I think this was five ninety nine. I took it. I said, "Let me get rid of it." <coughs> Excuse me, folks. I'm get, trying to get over a cold here. Um, <clears throat> this one over here, Pez Dispenser. This is a collectible in new box, a new tin box. Uh, I put it for nine ninety nine. That's what I got. They paid the shipping and handling on that. This one I put up. This was no exaggeration. I put this thing up. This woman's black unbranded boots, size eight. Okay. I put them for nineteen ninety nine, and I have to honestly say, within fifteen minutes, these things sold. <laughs> And I put it for nineteen ninety nine. Didn't need a counter because I have best offer with it. I, I think I put best offer, right? Let me see. Oh, maybe not. Oh, me. Oh, no, no. I'm sorry, folks. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, I'm looking over here. You got to forgive me, folks. I'm sorry. Uh, best offer accepted. Yeah. Uh, when I put a bite in that price, there was no best offers on these because I said to myself, this here was cheap enough. Um, I, you know, I got to start doing it that way going forward. Um, I'm not going to always put best offers on these things, but for some reason I did it that way back in the, uh, with the other ones. This one here, I put this Ed Hardy belt by Christian Ordia, or whatever. Um, I put it for $7.99. That's what I got it for. They paid the shipping handling. This was given to me. A uh, relative gave me this here. The Hulk mask, it doesn't work, and I also include the big rubber fits with it. Um, I thought they were going to buy it for Halloween because, uh, well, if they would have ordered it early, but I don't think they probably bought it with that intention. I put it for $4.99. They paid the shipping. You can see the shipping was seven dollars and fifty-one cents. Uh, the mask was kind of heavy. I told them that the mask does not light up. It had, needed a special battery to make it light up. And the rubber fist, they did have some wear on the knuckles and stuff like that. But it was all, you know, it was all in the description. So it wasn't something I was trying to hide from anybody. Uh, this here, I think I could have got more money from. I believe uh, Coach Woman size seven and a half B sneakers. Uh, so you can be whatever. Um, I put them in for $19.99 with a buy it now price. Um, I was not about to go any cheaper with these here because uh, these were really clean condition, really good condition too. Uh, they paid the shipping hands, so they got a pretty good deal. Um, small profit, but they, they did all right. This one here, uh, the Samsung Express laser duplex printer. I put it with the uh, you know, C, C demo video on I have a demo video on it. And I put a $59.99, and it sold for $59.99, and they paid the shipping and handling on it. Very good. I just, matter of fact, with this printer here, um, I just put in a new drum. So whoever, the buyer who got this here, it's going to be like brand spanking new, let alone the printer was in really clean condition, folks, really clean condition. It was like brand new, honestly. Um, they, they're going to be very happy with that. I didn't get, I didn't get a feedback on it, I don't recall, but uh, that went out, you know, October 31st. It was shipped out. And uh, here's another thing here, Nike Air Jordan sneakers, <clears throat> size 4Y, buy it now with best offer. Um, this, I had it for $19.99. I should have kind of kept it up there, but I was comparing it with others. And they didn't seem like they had much of a markup on them, like, you know, great market in them. So I put it with a best offer, uh, $19.99. I think they offered me, I think it was 16 and change. I took it. I said, I want to get rid of it, you know. I, I mean, sometimes I, I feel bad. I want to give people deals, but at the same time, I cut my own, you know, cut my own profit margin down by doing that. Uh, this Disney Minnie Mouse white T-shirt, small size, small. I had it for seven ninety nine. They offered me, I think this was four ninety nine, four ninety nine with this one here. They paid the shipping and handling. Uh, this one here, I would have buy it now. I had I was firm on a price. Well, I tried pricing them compared to others uh, for four ninety nine. It says trending at seven fifteen, so they got a pretty good deal. However. Well, with the trending, I don't know if that was included free shipping. But anyway, I didn't offer free shipping, so they paid three ninety nine. So they got a good deal on that. Um, and then over here for the last one, this is for November. Um, hold on for a second. Yeah, so far for November eighth, I got two for one for eighth, the ninth, and twelfth, 
and that was it. <laughs> it's kind of like Deadsville. This one here, again, for a buy it now, uh, would go for $4.76. And just to let you know, I'm just going to bump that really quick and go over here and show you that I do. I have to wear glasses first. These are what I have right now. Um, in case you guys are interested, this is the Sims Night, yeah, Night, Night Life expansion. I have to put it close to my chest because sometimes it blends with my uh, backdrop. Uh, yeah, the nightlife here. Um, I actually got three Sims here, and this is Sims Two. This, this is Sims. The, the Sims Two. This one, I'm sorry for nightlife. If you guys are interested. This is Sims Two, teen style stuff. Very good condition. Okay, and I got this here. The Sims Two Pets expansion pack. I got this here. So if you guys are interested, I got that. And I got as far as oops, sorry, hitting the mic. I got this here. I got two of these here. Um, Medal of Honor for the Xbox 360. I got two, two left. I'm not buying anymore. So once these go, they're gone. <laughs> I am not going to buy these anymore. I am not buying any more. I'm not buying no more Sims. I ain't buying no more games. Um, I don't really do good with the games too much. And I got two here, the Battlefield 3 uh, Limited Edition. I got two more of these here. Um, I think they're. I don't think these are with buy uh, best office folks. I think these are with the buy it now. So. Um, you know, if you're interested, if you are a Middle of Honor person and these are the limited edition, very good condition, um, you know, they got everything in there. I think it's two disc. Let me see. Is it two disc? No, it ain't. No, actually, it's one disc. I'm sorry. I sold the other ones. Oh, I'm thinking of the, uh, I'm thinking of the, what do you call it, the um, Sims. They have two discs, some of them. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. They're pretty clean. And that's it. I only have two of these left, too. So, if you guys are interested in that. And I also... I don't know if people deal with VHS. I'm not going to open this up. As you can see, it's sealed. Okay, um, for moms out there, if you if your daughter likes Sleeping Beauty, um, you can see it's sealed, but never been opened. You can see it's pretty good. The case is not really damaged over here or anything. Pick this up. Um, I can see this here brand new. Uh, only for the simple reason is that seal's not ripped. Okay, and you can you could also tell when something's new. This is really clean. So uh, if anybody out there is looking for a Sleeping Beauty VHS. Uh, check it out guys all right all right so we're going to go back to the thing now now the video i was talking about is um well my video is going to be is what's trending on ebay for 2019 so i'm going to take you to the uh ebay window i mean the uh, website there and i'm just going to show you these two pages one's explore and the other one's trending uh trend ebay trends uh they're basically both the same i'm going to show you but it's to give you guys out there an idea of what's going to be what's being sold on ebay and maybe this may be of help to you. Just give you a little idea. I don't know. At first, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't aware of the eBay trending thing either. How I found out about it was I was listening to a while back, and I do meet a while back when uh, I was listening to Griff and Lee Marable, who had the uh, eBay radio show. And that would come on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And um, I think it was going on Eastern time, uh, I mean East Coast time. It used to come out 2 o'clock, and I think California time it was, it was 11 a.m., I believe. Don't quote me on it. But anyway, I remember hearing about that, and Lee Marlboro was talking about it. She's since retired from eBay Radio. Um, and I remember saying, oh, eBay trends. I said, this sounds kind of interesting, you know. Um, I don't know if it's going to be of help, help, but it's showing you what's trending on eBay. And, okay, and the other thing I want to talk about is... Um, they brought back the Motorola Razor. Do you guys remember that there? The Motorola Razor? I had one. Um, the picture you can see up here is the, well, this is the new one for trending. This is a new Motorola Razor for 2019. I'm going to take you to the website there as well. And um, you can check out the videos. The guy does it. It's like an eight minute long video and he talks a little about it. Um, I have the, uh, the silver one I had, what you see pictured here. I think it was the silver one quite sure because I think at one time I traded up different colors I wanted a silver and then I went to the midnight blue type and I really loved that that, that uh, cell phone it was a flip phone you know the flip phones back then now the way the way they made it according to the video just in case you guys are curious about it um, they made it where the phone still folds the, the this razor this new razor for 2019 still folds uh, just like the, that its predecessor the one that came out right in the beginning you know for a while back and uh, I remember we got it for my daughters, and uh, we, they got the pink ones at that back that time, they had the pink. And I remember my older daughter, she's like, I love this razor, Dad. You know, but of course, as things went on, you know, time moves on, stuff like that, things get better and better. So everybody went to the iPhones. Uh, I had a Sony uh, cell phone back in the day. I bought it brand new at the Sony store. And I don't think people are aware of it. I remember telling a relative, he goes, Sony makes cell phones. I said, oh, yes, they do. And they make kind of pricey ones, too. 
And uh, I bought that one back then, brand spanking new, uh, for $149. And believe it or not, I ended up buying it. I kept it for a while. And my daughters, they got the, um, the iPhones, the new iPhone 8. Well, now I don't know what they got now, but they don't have the latest one. They have the iPhone 11. That Pro didn't have that one. That's kind of expensive, too. I believe it's like $1,069, something like that. And uh, my daughter's like, Dad, why don't you get an iPhone? So I bought a pre-owned one off of eBay. And um, what I like about it is they have the thing called iMessage, something like that. And it doesn't cost anything if you're in a Wi-Fi area and the kids, because I have a prepaid phone with T-Mobile. I've been with T-Mobile for 10 years. I love the service. It's prepaid. Uh, you put $10 and change on it every 90 days. And if you're on a fixed budget like I am, I'm on a fixed budget. Uh, it works out really good. So every 90 days, I will put $10 on it. And uh, whatever I don't use, if I don't use it, I think it carries over, if I'm not mistaken. And you could text on it. But the only thing is, uh, when, you, when you use the $10, when you put the $10 on your phone, uh, you end up, I think you only get 35 minutes or something along that line. And it's uh, 10 cents to receive a message, 10 cents to send. And text is the same thing. 10 cents to text, to receive, and to send, and 10, sex, uh, 10 cents to send out, to send a, to send a text out. So, um, yeah, but I, I don't really use it that much. But uh, when I'm home in the Wi-Fi area, um, I have my Apple iPad, <clears throat> and my daughters could text me on it. Hey, Dan, I'm going to be coming home late. I'm going out, whatever. And, you know, we can go back and forth, and there's no problem with it. That's why I got it. I said, you know what? So I picked up from eBay. I bought the um, one for 149 I could have probably got a little cheaper. I probably could have got an upgraded model with the iPhone 5S. But, you know, something, it works great. I had no problem. The only thing I will say when I bought it from there, uh, remember they pre-owned. Uh, the only I will say is the uh, battery wasn't holding a good charge. So I took it to a guy over here in a town, a couple of towns over. They do uh, cell phone repairs. He put a new battery in there. And I remember when I went to my daughters that day, and they go, I got to get a new battery for this thing. I like, I love the phone. It's a gold tone one. And I said, hello, and I'm watching the guy take it out. My daughters know I'm very um, I'm fanatic when it comes to this. I don't want things to get scratched or damaged or anything. And that guy is taking the thing. He's got these little, he's got those little micro glasses on. Uh, eyeglasses and he's taking the little screws out he's pulling things out he's taking a stink because it's like it's like they glue the battery in there. it's like one of those flexible uh, batteries and he's prying it out I'm looking my doors look at my face like I'm saying is he gonna break this thing it's like no he'll be all right you know because we're standing right next to him and uh he takes it out he puts the new battery in there plops it in whatever and uh, ever since then had no problem uh, the, everything works fine on it. I mean, I love it. It holds the juice. You know, that's it's, that's all I know. I charge it up, and every couple of days, uh, even if I leave it on, um, it, the battery hardly goes dead on it. So uh, that that cost me to have him do that to replace the old battery. I think back then it cost me sixty bucks. But so you probably said, well, you bought the phone for one fifty and one forty nine, one one fifty, and then you had that you know, put that in there. So yeah, it went over, it went over like two hundred dollars. But look, what am I going to do? You know. To me, I felt at the time it was a lot cheaper than buying a brand new spanking, brand new iPhone. Uh, I love the iPhone 11 Pro, but I can't, right now, that's not in my budget to buy that, but I would love to get the new one. I mean, you see the cameras, it's got, it's got like a, three little cameras or something like that there, wide angle, whatever. I was looking at the, uh, the video on it there, like you know, they were doing a demo on it, and that is pretty cool stuff. But anyway, um, let me take you to that window about the Razer. And this week you can check it out. And then I just want to do about I just want to talk a little about the Explore, uh, you know, what's going on with eBay, you know, trending what's trending on eBay and show you those two windows. And then I want to close this video out and call it a night. It's going on 8 p.m. over here. I'm in New York. And uh, you know, I got other things to tend to and stuff like that. So I got some more research to do on my eBay. Like I said, my sales have not been really great, folks. I don't know if you guys want to share it out there. If you do, that's great. If you don't, that's fine too. Um the only thing I would say in regards to, you know, uh, when it comes to um, slow sales, like anybody else is going to tell you, you could try cutting your prices down. You could try to, uh, you know, you know not re I'm not saying end the listing or relist it again. Uh, I've been hearing all these different stories. There's another guy I follow on uh, on YouTube, and he's, a, he's an eBay seller. And I'm so jealous of this guy. I envy him. What he sells in one day is what I sell practically in a month. And I'm not going to mention his name, but this guy, I mean, I sit here and say to myself, all right, I, I got to look at his listings. I got to find out first of all, if I can get his, I, you know, where I can get check his eBay ID, uh, ID out. I want to see what this guy sells and how he sets up his templates and stuff like that. Is he offering free shipping? Is he offering 10% discount, 5%, whatever? 
Um, you know, kind of like I want to get a little idea on that to see what this guy's all about. Uh, because I think I have decent merchandise. Not probably as, as good stuff as he's got, good as stuff as these guys. But when I look at this guy and you know, when he does videos, I don't know if he does them every couple of days or every other day, whatever. He always shows all the stuff he sells on eBay. And, I, and I'm looking at it, he's like, oh, this is what's going on for eBay today. And the guy is showing this and that. And so I'm thinking, well, maybe the guy, you know, slow, see, you know, slow time for him. Maybe he's just like everybody else. And this guy's. He's selling 10, 15 items, whatever, within the day. And it's like, oh, my gosh. I go, I would. that's like more than I do in a month. Uh, as you can see, October was not even close. But, um, yeah, and then here's the other thing, too. This guy has a big following on eBay, uh, on YouTube. He's got, I think, 45,000 subscribers. And sometimes when he's talking, he'll be thanking the subscribers who buy and stuff from him. So the people like me, like, let's say you come to my YouTube channel, all right, and you're looking at the stuff I have to offer. Let's say you at my eBay list and you say, oh, well, you know, uh, I'm going to buy this here. Maybe if you bought it, uh, you would probably drop a link in there below and say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm one of your subscribers. I bought this item from you. And then when I do a video, it's, I do a shout out. Oh, thank you very much for selling it, whoever you are, John Doe, whatever. Thank you so much for, you know, purchasing from me, for supporting me by buying, uh, you know, merchandise off of me. But he has kind of a big following. I think he's got 45,000 subscribers. And he'll tell you sometimes in his videos, you know, oh, so-and-so has bought this. He's a subscriber. She's a subscriber. She bought this item from me. Um, I, I don't have a big enough subscriber base for that. And, uh, again, if I did, I don't know if people would. Maybe they would. Maybe they wouldn't. But this guy makes sales, too, um, off the people that watch him, too. You know, hey, look, I'm trying uh, like I said, again, it's not easy. It's not an easy road. I said it once before with selling on eBay. Uh, some people may think, you know, it's the roads to riches. And um, as they say in YouTube, when it comes to growing your, uh, your YouTube channel, uh, this is not a sprint. It's a marathon. And it's so true. Um, I wish I can get 1,000 subscribers. I'm trying to put out the best content I, I, I can. Uh, my video, my YouTube uh, channel is uh, I do not discuss religion and politics on it and I do not use profanity on it. I matter of fact I consider it a kid's safe channel. I know with the copper thing going on it there about the children that that new thing that YouTube is putting out there now uh, they're making all us YouTube creators you know kind of like check off on your videos is this uh, suitable for kids or if it ain't whatever. Um, my my I know I shouldn't maybe I shouldn't even say that there but when I say kids safe I mean like you know uh, I don't do crazy things to you know do any zany antics or like I said again in my other videos I don't do any uh, hang gliding or cliff diving or anything of that nature uh, I don't believe in doing things like that there but for the most part uh, with the changes going on within YouTube let alone what's going on with eBay uh, there's a lot of changes coming for 2020 uh, and 2020 I think that's when there's gonna you're gonna start to see some more stuff kick in with YouTube so if you're a YouTube creator be aware of what's going on uh, I, I did a video the other day, uh, last week, or a couple of days ago, I should say. Uh, it's about making nice content or making good content for your YouTube channel. Uh, try to keep it real, keep it simple. Um, don't do crazy things because you can have some kind of issues with that there uh, via from you know, YouTube or, or maybe even legal issues too. So um, if you are a kid's channel, uh, be very careful as far as what you're putting out there for kids to see. Uh, I, my my videos like i said um it's kind of like a variety um if you look at my videos from the past uh like the, you know, when i first started out there were demo videos sneak peek videos and intro videos and basically i'm just talking about merchandise i'm doing a, de uh, a demo video on how things work you know whatever if i if it's whatever it may be a laptop a radio a clock radio whatever it may be and um for the most part uh i i mine i check off no my videos are not they don't deal have anything to deal with any kids because they don't uh, some people may bake the difference and say, well, a young kid can go to your YouTube channel and watch you doing a demo on, a, on, a, on a, how to set a clock, a radio alarm clock. Um, I don't think that's, you know, would, would cause any problem. I mean, it's, it's a demo video, you know. But uh, for those who do uh, those type of channels, um, it may be a little more involved. So for people that get involved in that line, uh, you may want to read more into that there. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's so many changes going on, and with eBay, like I said again, with all their programs they're rolling out, uh, with the managed payment, uh, then they, what do you call it there? The um, the thing that what they call what? Oh, I can't think. I'm trying to think of it. With the clo with the clothing, you know, your category updates and stuff like that, item specifics. Uh, there's so many different things going on with eBay, and you know, like that old saying goes, "If it ain't broke, don't fix it," right? But however, 
Uh, I guess they're doing things with good intentions, uh, trying to make, um, what do you call it there? I, I guess try to give a good experience on both for the buyer and the seller. And uh, again, if you are uh, thinking about getting involved, getting off the YouTube, but we'll keep that in mind with YouTube though. Um, but if you're thinking about selling on eBay, um, you know, you may want to subscribe to my channel because I do put out good information out there. Um, I do, like I said, I also do the reseller news and the reseller news deals with e-commerce. And I also, I forgot to mention this in my video opening, I also do vlogging. So uh, it may not, you know, I may be doing videos that may have nothing to do with the reselling. Uh, maybe I'll be talking about the equipment I use to do my videos, you know, how I make my videos. Um, I might be doing some how-tos, I may be doing some demo videos, maybe sneak peek videos and intro videos. So um, you may want to subscribe if you want to keep up on it. And if you do like my videos, um, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. And if you want to be updated, want to post any new videos, please hit that bell notification icon. Now, without further ado, I definitely want to go into that window that I want to show you about the Razor. And then we're just going to go into the two websites if we're trending on eBay. And the whole premise behind it is to give you guys an idea out there, especially with the holiday season's coming up. I know people might say you should have done this a lot earlier. I think I did a while back. I'm just kind of like refreshing, doing a refresh video. Um, it's for you guys, okay? Like I said, I take time out of my busy day to, you know, come up with these things here. And I like to put fresh, clean content out. I would like to try to do it on a daily basis. But there's been times I haven't had that opportunity because some personal things come up. Uh, the other day, I was not I was a little under the weather. I still got kind of like a little cold here. Uh, first cold, I call it for the winter, even though people say, wait, we're officially winter yet. But to me, when you're in the 30s and the teens or whatever at nighttime over here in the East Coast, um, to me, that's winter weather. I don't care what anybody says. You don't have to have that. You know, have it be official winter. What is it, December 22nd or whatever it is, the official day of winter? Um, to me, that's, that's winter weather. But anyway, let me go to that site there and uh, hope we can close this video out. And uh, I don't want to take too much of your time, guys, so stick around. Okay, guys, here's the uh, website I was talking about. Let me give you the URL. Uh, for those who are new, I do not give you, uh, I mean, I do not read everything verbatim. I will give you the URLs to where you got the information from, and the rest is up to you if you like to pick up where I left off. Now, there's two videos here. I'm not going to play them, but if you are interested in this phone, and let me just make this disclaimer. I am getting nothing for this here. I have no affiliate links with CNET. I'm just sharing information with you guys out there in case you, you, know, you didn't hear about it. I, the only reason why I'm sharing it with you guys is because I remember the, uh, the Motorola, Motorola Razor. I had it, and I really did love that phone. That had to be one of my favorite phones. And if um, you guys ever watched the movie with Burn Notice on there, uh, wait, I think his name is Jeffrey Donovan. He plays uh, Michael. I can't think of his last name. I, I can't remember his name. But if you watched the movie Burn Notice, um, they, they used, well, at least he did, he used the, uh, the Razor, the Motorola Razor. I remember watching it and saying, hey, that's the same phone I have. And uh, that was a really good series, by the way, but it's no more on TV, at least not in my, in my area anyway. But uh, I remember, you know, that, that, that Motorola Razor, and I really did love it. And uh, then they started coming out with the um, smartphones, you know, and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about here. I'm not going to play the video, but let me give you the URL. It's www.cnet.com. And the story you're looking for is Motorola Razor foldable phone unboxing. Here's what you get in the box. Now, the video is uh, this guy here, he's going to do an open, you know, he's going to do an unboxing, whatever, talk about it, what's in the box. You can see, just looking at it, uh, and the gentleman in holding his hands, it seems like it's a very wider phone. Uh, to me, it looks that way anyway, but then again, they say to, you know, with a picture, it might make it a little bigger. Um, here, there's, this is one phone, and this, this video here is uh, eight minutes long, he talks about it. And here's another one here, the Motorola Razor. Um, this one here is uh, the guy's talking about it here too. They talk a little about it here to describe it. But um, if you get a chance, check out these two videos. Check out this one and this one. And uh, if you are, if maybe you were a person at one time that did have the Motorola Razor, uh, you may be interested in checking this out. The only thing I will say, okay, when he does the folding of it, open, you know, he opens and closes it. Um, it's got a nice clap sound, like a really like a clamp type of sound. Like remember the old phones where you clap it and you hear that, like that that sound. Um, it does that. The only thing, uh, as far as with the technology, Motorola is a pretty good company, I think so anyway. The only thing is with the technology, I'm wondering how it's going to work with folding the screen. Now, I know they have phones like that there where, they, where the screens do fold. I think Samsung puts something like that. I think it's even bigger. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I don't know how this is going to be, how long this is going to last <coughs> because it's a... Uh, it's like, you know, if you see him when he opens it up on the side there, you could see like when he folds it, you know, it like it collapses. 
Uh, you could say there's a little bending in there in the uh, the screen itself, you know. <clears throat> but um, it's really a nice. It, it is nice. I mean, I like the phone when I had it. I don't have this one here, and I don't plan on buying it either, folks. <laughs> um, <clears throat> for the simple reason is I already made my purchase on my iPhone 5S, and I'm pretty happy with it. So for me, um, <clears throat> as much as I love the phone, uh, I will be passing on it. But for you guys out there, you know, you may want to check into it. But if you go, I always say this. If you're going to, you know, explore into buying something, um, I do this all the time, folks. Uh, if I'm going to buy a printer or if there's something particular I, I like, I will uh, copy that title down and go to YouTube and see the reviews on it, see what other people have to say about it. And uh, I love videos, and I like, I like when people do demo videos, unboxing videos, especially if it's something that I'm going to buy. Uh, I like it that way. You know, I'd, rather, I'd rather do that, you know, go and see the uh, actual uh, item in use, you know, see what it's like. And here, uh, again, if you want to see it, you could, this, like I said, this gentleman is going to do a, like a demo and unboxing. And over here, I think they talk a little more about it. So there's two videos to watch. I'm not going to play them, folks. Um, <clears throat> you know, uh, it might be something you may want to check into. But it is, it is a nice phone, I have to honestly say. All right. Now, let's get back to business here. <clears throat> okay. Um, if you guys are not aware of it, hopefully you will be today after watching this video, there is a thing called eBay.com trend. Now, this is for the new people that are they're breaking into eBay or thinking about selling on eBay, for the seasoned sellers like myself. Now, I'll be honest with you. I've been with eBay since July of 1999, and I have to honestly say, I never knew anything about the eBay trending. Honestly, my people may say, really, you cannot? No, I did not know about the eBay trending on this. Um, there are so many things, if you go into the eBay site, the eBay community, and you check into the things they have there, or, or like if you just do a search on certain things, you're going to see other things pop up within the eBay, uh, you know, listing or whatever on, uh, you know, on Google. And they have all these different things. I was not aware. And there's also another one, too, called <coughs> uh, Explore.com eBay. Yeah, Explore. Explore.ebay.com. This is another one. Okay, but we're going to go back to this one first. And this is what's trending right now on eBay. Okay, so for 2012, uh, 2019, these are the things trending. <clears throat> Let me get a little drink of water here. I'm sorry, folks. I shouldn't. I, I, w I was debating on doing this video, but uh, I want to get it out. Um, anyway, so this is what right now is trending on eBay. You got um, Lamar Jackson. What is this here? Uh, these are baseball cards, right? Uh, look at the prices of it here. Look at this thing: hundred thousand, twelve hundred dollars, nineteen ninety nine, or eight ninety nine. And you got the uh, cashmere sweater. All right. And these are the, uh, it's, it talks about the searches here, well, at least on this one here. Uh, look at many searches, 48,724 uh, searches for this, okay? Uh, the ugly Christmas sweater. <laughs> I heard about them so much, I mean, but anyway, look at them in here, 19,485. I hope I'm reading it right. If I'm reading it wrong, I apologize. But uh, the ugly Christmas sweater, these are the things that people are searching for. Could you imagine that? Uh, number four, Death Stranding. Um, this is a PS4 game. Look how many people are looking for this. How many searches? Now, again, if you guys are out there and you, if you look at this video, if you're going to be searching or buying these, and remember, these things look brand new. Now, if you have a deal with somebody and you're going to buy these things brand new, well, then good for you. You're lucky because I don't. Uh, but um, <clears throat> these are, these, these are kind of nice, these boots. I tell you the truth, they're so nice. I wouldn't want to get them to like work boots. I wouldn't want to get them dirty. This, if I bought these boots like this one here, I'm looking at this one here, that's the way they would always stay. People say, do you ever wear these things? They look like brand spanking new. It's true. I take care of my stuff. Uh, let's see what else. Christmas lights. Okay. Uh, look at me. People are searching for it. I mean, crazy, right? Christmas lights. A uh, Rolex watch. Okay. Well, <clears throat> um, <laughs> look at the price on that. $11,950, $7,795, And you can see many people look for this one here. I don't know if I'm reading this right. Uh, it's 100, it looks like 165,000. I don't know. Anyway, um, you got the number eight Jordan's number one fearless. Okay, 8,720 people are looking at this here, looking for these. Now, if you you come across these here in your uh, your little searches there, um, you know you may want to pick up a pair of these here. I don't know if these are brand spanking new. Could be. I don't know. Um, you know you might want to keep a keep an eye out for this stuff. Uh, let's just see IKEA. X Virgil lab law. Okay, I don't know what that is. Was it a bag? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, well, anyway, you can see people, how many searches are people doing for that? Here's a number, uh, number 10 is a Nike black skeleton. Okay. 
Um, <clears throat> again, look how many people did the searches for this here, and uh, that's what they're going for. Different pricing, of course. Okay, so that's what's trending there on this particular channel here, uh, as far as this one here goes. And you could type in anything on here for let me go one second here. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you might want to check this out, folks. Uh, just go to eBay, www.ebay.com forward slash trending, and this will give you an idea of what else is going on out there. <clears throat> oh, I don't think there's anything else you can see on this one here, unless you do a search on their page. But I think that will just, if you go to eBay, it will just bring you to what's actually selling. So uh, you might want to keep that in mind. Okay, this is another one I like. This is eBay um, Explore. And they have what's trending now. You might say, yeah, we just did that there. Well, this is a little more in detail, folks, I think. At least I believe it is anyway. I know it looks at the same exact things. I think they got a little more here, as you can see. Um, you may want to check this out. Very good very good information. I think so anyway. And it kind of like gives you an idea of what to be on the lookout for. Okay? So, uh, yeah, there's quite a bit here. Now, I'm not going to go <laughs> to all of these here. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, because I'm going to keep scrolling and, and it's going to keep paginating over and over again. But these are the things that's trending, uh, as, of course, it is. This is eBay site, not me. So, uh, you know, you guys may want to check this out. Be on the lookout for this stuff. I know there's tons and tons of people out there probably selling the same things, but you never know. <clears throat> You may have that particular item that maybe nobody else has. It's the same category, but you may have some kind of rare item that maybe other people don't have. And who knows? I don't know. You know, but you could see that this, and it keeps going and going. It's going to keep paginating over and over again. So, uh, <laughs> you know, it's something to look into. Okay. Let's see what else they got over here. I want to share something else with the site. <coughs> okay. Let's uh, go further here. Okay. Now, I have another one called What's It Worth? Okay, what's it worth? You would type something there, a price on anything. I always like to start off with the, uh, let's see, the HP. I was, I sort of print the right folks. <laughs> um, HP PhotoSmart. I kind of like always do that sometimes. The, uh, let's see, uh, 75, what, what print? I'm putting mine in there. Uh, HP PhotoSmart, PhotoSmart. Oops, PhotoSmart. Can't type today, can I? PhotoSmart printer, uh, 7520. 7520 yeah printer and this will give you an idea of what it sells this is just to give you guys a little idea yeah what I like about this one here it gives you the new price now I'm not gonna sell a printer like this for seven dollars but they're showing you the price seven dollars to one hundred and twelve dollars um, there's no way I would sell for that one hundred and twelve dollars yeah but that's like I guess the price range uh, maybe seven dollars for the booklet but I don't I, I can't see when he's this is a nice printer okay um, and it'll tell you over here the too few sales I had in the last 90 days, and it graphs it up here. You can see here for August 19th, and it breaks it up down to November 11th, and it'll tell you over here. Uh, well, it, well, yeah, it goes up to November 11th, but it goes on to say uh, November 7th to the 14th, an average sale price, quantity sold, new 38 sold, and new uh, yeah, and new 31. Okay, all right, whatever that is, uh, but it's good though. It gives you an idea of what it's all about. And then I'll show you, it also takes you to the uh, completed sales match in the PhotoSmart 7520 printer. Uh, this is what I have. And a uh, really nice printer. And if you click it on, this will take you directly to the, uh, you know, uh, eBay's website there. And uh, if you want to purchase it, they do range in prices. I mean, if I was to sell mine, mine's in really nice conditions, like brand spanking new. I would sell probably mine, like probably in the ballpark of maybe $100 or so, you know. I know people say, yeah, but you got people over here selling them for, well, I mean, yeah, you know, but, you know, it might be scratched, it might be damaged. Mine's in pretty good condition. Now, this one here is, uh, I don't know, is this a misprint? Look at this here. $6.50. I'm sorry, folks. Wait, let's click this on. I have to see this one here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to, yeah, I was going to, it sold. Well, okay. Uh, let me, let me see the original item. Is it sold for? Parts not working. I mean, six dollars and seventy-five. Six. What are they kidding? Let me see something here. Nine bids. The printer looks like brand new. It's in a box. Let me see something here. This doesn't make sense. Well, and I thought I took a beating on stuff. <laughs> they gotta be kidding me. You believe this, folks? 
I mean, well, not for nothing, but what was this person thinking? I don't see anything which says, do you see anything here, folks, where it says for parts not working? I mean, in a box? All right, whatever. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> I am seeing it, winning bid, $6.50, and all right, they paid $32 and 42 cents for the shipping. Wow. For that price, I would have bought it and I would have resold it. I don't know what what else is here. Let me see. Oh, uh, eek. That's why every picture tells a thousand words, right? Wow. Oh, boy. Um, okay. Anyway, I'm not going to expand too much on the topic there. Um, okay. Well, maybe a good cleaning. <coughs> maybe a good cleaning would do it up. <clears throat> Okay, anyway, let's bump out of here. I had, I had to see, I'm sorry, folks. I had to see it for $6.50. I had to see that. Mine's more like uh, really neat. And, real, mine's like brand new. Mine looks like this. You see the price of these things, though? These are new. This is new. I want to print the factory seal. Anyway, I love this printer. If you guys were ever looking for a printer, um, I recommend you get check into this here. Wow. Okay, well, you got an idea of what these printers are all about. Okay, and now, last but not least, we're going to go to the best sellers. So you might want to check into this as well. These are our eBay's best sellers. Okay, check it out, guys. Yep. You know, sometimes you can get the information. You don't have to rattle your head against the wall, you know, trying to figure things out. There are other people, you know, there are, there are other things that other areas that people will check. You can go to Google Trends. Um, <clears throat> what's the other one there? Um, there's another one I can't think of hand where you could just check it out. Or you could just go to do a Google search on what's, and just type in what's trending on eBay is too. Uh, they may bring you to this window. I don't know, you know. But um, these are the things right now that, that seem to be um, eBay's best sellers according to eBay. Okay. Um, so, you know, I, all I can say is if you get a chance, check this out. It's www.explore.ebay.com. And the other thing I want to just share with you guys really quick, I'm just going to go in this window really quick here and type in the uh, eBay community. I think. Um, like I said, I, I like helping people out and sharing information. So if you guys get a takeaway from it, it'd be great. Um, if you get a chance. Matter of fact, the reason why I'm going to come here is because I didn't get a chance to listen to it. Um, you can go check out the uh, the eBay community uh, podcast. And, uh, well, not that one there. Where is it? Do I want to go to the podcast? The podcast. Where is it? Oh, let me just type in here one more time. Let me just type in here, folks. I'm sorry, guys. Let me jump in another window here. I want to check out the uh, podcast. Let me type in eBay podcast. So I wanted to share with you guys. It's going to probably bring back to the same window again, right? <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, this is the one I want to listen to today. This came out. I know it's November 12th, but I recommend you guys check out the eBay community, uh, the podcast. You can learn a lot from them. Um... This particular one, episode 66, I didn't get a chance to listen to it, so I'm being upfront and honest with you guys. I didn't get a chance to listen to it, but this is episode 66, Shipping Best Practices. You could also go back and read at the other ones out there, okay? Look like at this one, get it out the door, and I think I got to check this one as well. I think everybody else, because you can go back and listen to them, promotions that work for the holidays, another one. Look at all the good ones, folks. They're roughly, I think, about 30 minutes long. If I think the segments are half hour, I think they're 30 minutes long, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, promotion work for the holidays, um, social strategies for the holidays, promotional tools, promotional strategies for the holidays, more. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I recommend you check them out. And if you can, just to get caught up, you could probably go back to these here, these site, you know, these here, and listen to the podcast at your leisure. But I definitely, I think it's a, it's a definitely thing for me. I know that's what I did. I um. I listen to it in the background when I'm listening or if I'm doing research. I, I know people say, don't you get distracted? But, nah, it depends, you know. But I listen to it in the background sometimes. And, I always, and you know, a good rule of thumb is, folks, is always keep a pen and paper with you. 
so you could always jot things down in case you you know well you could always go back to that segment if you're going to do that though just write down the date it came out and the episode so you know you don't go crazy you know looking for trying to look for your you know that that podcast up um i always keep a pen and pad because i always jot down notes and when i'm listening to stuff like this i want to make sure you know i'm, I'm hearing the right information you could always refer back to it though too think about selling on ebay or you know you just need to get that extra information you know you could also contact them too if you don't want to talk on the phone i i would uh myself i don't know if i would call them up um i'd rather just <laughs> email them like, you know do an email for them and let them maybe and they'll probably answer it on the air i guess i would think or or maybe not because well, it depends if they get inundated with too many emails they're not gonna you know address all of them they may pick out and choose which ones are more important uh for that time you know at that particular time but uh, definitely check it out, okay? And also, while you're there at the eBay community, you got the homepage. You can also go to Sellers News. You can see the announcements. Now, uh, if you ever want to know the current status or the system status of eBay, and very rarely will you see this down, whenever you click it on, it's always going to be all green, okay? <laughs> Bidding, buy it, registration, so on and so forth. So uh, if there is any service outages, you will see it here. It'll be noted. There were disruptions. And let me tell you something, all the times I checked on here in the current system status, I have never yet seen, yet to see, service disruption or service outage. Hey, I'm just telling you, I'm just sharing. <laughs> uh, also, let's go back here one more time with this. Um, the seller news, when you click that on as well, you can see the announcements. Okay. Um, highly recommend you check out the announcements here. Uh, your eBay, your eBay, yeah, your, your business, our results, a note from Jordan Sweetman, Senior Vice President, General Manager of Erica's, and you could read out the uh, new stuff they got here, okay, uh, now live new internet sales tech changes that impact you, that's something you might want to check into, um, <clears throat> uh, uh, that's a whole other story to do a tax thing, I, I, you know, I mean, I remember eBay did a thing a while back about the taxes where in certain states eBay will collect the tax for that state and send it in your behalf I believe they'll process it but don't quote me on that I am not like I said in my other videos I am not a CPA I'm not a tax attorney I don't know too much that if you you guys have to find out on your own um, I'm just sharing this information with you guys so uh, you know check it out if you get a chance check it out you can read it over here and uh, you know, <clears throat> it's something to look into. But they have a whole bunch of stuff here as well on the uh, eBay now, uh, selling news. Let's see. And also, when you go over here, when you click on this here, I just want to show you this really quick. Oops, if I can. My computer is going wacky today. If you go over here, they have the easier eBay for Business podcast, eBay uh, for Business YouTube. Uh, I recommend you go to the YouTube channel and for Facebook. They also have the meetups and mentor program, seller center, seller updates, and the big ink eBay Inc. News. <laughs> All right. They have groups and so on. You can check it out for yourself. Just go to www.community.ebay.com or do like I just did. Uh, do a Google search to eBay community and it will bring you here. And with that, folks, we're going to close this video out. I don't even know how long it is. Well, that concludes this video, folks. I hope you got a takeaway from it. I hope it helped you out in some way. And if it did, Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. And if you want to be updated to when I post that new videos, please hit that bell notification icon. My name is Rich Bassini. You're watching Let's Talk eBay. Today is November 14th, 2019. And hopefully tomorrow, I would like to do the uh, reseller news. I think I have quite a few Google alerts on it. But again, I just want to share this with you before I do close this video out. Um, going forward, I, I make promise. I don't want me to keep making promise. I know I do, but I'm, I do apologize. I would like to keep that the eBay re, well the reseller news down between 15 minutes to maybe a half tops. I know sometimes it goes in a lot longer. I do apologize, but you know what it is. <clears throat> there is so many. There's so much information out there that I want to share with you guys, and sometimes 10 or 15 minutes is not going to cut it. However, I could uh, do speed reading. <laughs> I could do that there, right? You know, the guy is he's talking too fast. I, I've had that happen sometimes where I keep rambling things off so quick. And uh, the people on the other end that, who watch my videos, I say, this guy doesn't stop. You know, he's looking at him. He's like a motor mouth. He's just rambling on. But 
it's it's hard to you know take something that's a half hour or 40 minutes or whatever and you know condense it into a 15 10 15 minute sequel probably could be done just cut back on the windows how much you know windows i open up um the reason why i do that folks um give you the urls is because i want you guys i don't want you guys to think i'm just making this stuff off the top of my head i do these i do these videos with good intentions i want to share information with you guys i want to see you guys become successful just like myself and as i said many of my other videos i'm more of an optimist than a pessimist yes do i get upset with ebay when i'm not making sales on ebay absolutely but what am i going to do it's part of the deal it's part of the game you know as an old saying if you can't take the heat get out the kitchen but um, for the most part, I mean, I'm still here, still doing it. <clears throat> I've been with eBay for, since July of 1999, 20 years. And uh, I'm not going to say it's been an easy road. Uh, you know, a lot of people may have that, that mindset where, well, if I, I'm going to quit my 9 to 5 job and I'm going to do, go eBay, do eBay full time. I wish you all the best. Good luck to you. Um, how I got involved with this area is for those who are new, don't know anything about me, a little quick bio is I lost my job back in June of 2016. I went through two company layoffs, one company bankruptcy, and on the last one, which was, like I said, the 2016 one, I decided to throw my hat in the ring and say, look, let me try it. You know, let me see what happens. What can I do with it? It's not, it's not an easy road. Uh, I'll be honest with you, and, and I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit here and conjure up or make stories just to make videos. <clears throat> But um, in some cases, there's no way the income uh, equates to what I was making on a full-time job. Now, the job I had, I loved the job. I had a pension, 401k, that had all the company perks, benefits. You know, it was, it was, a, good, it was a great job. I loved it. Um, fortunately, a thousand jobs went overseas, and I was part of that, you know, uh, layoff. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, things happen in life, right? <clears throat> so anyway... Um, that's the story. That's how I got involved with eBay. But uh, for the most part, for those of you out there who are thinking or starting or getting involved with eBay, I will say this. I'll just leave this with you. Um, keep in mind, you don't want to quit your day job just yet. Okay? Um, I, I said this before in my other videos, and I'll say it again. If you're going to do eBay on a full-time basis, um, of course, you're going to figure out what you need to survive. You have to live comfortable. Well, try to anyway. But on the low end, and I mean low, if you can't make at least $100 a day, that can be a problem <laughs> if you get my drift. I mean, that, and that's a small amount. That's not really a lot. But I'm sure there's people out there that are making more than $100 a day selling eBay. I don't know. I get mixed emotions. Uh, I've been hearing this one guy talking on eBay. He's saying um, <clears throat> uh, he does a lot of listings on a daily basis, and he says that's how he's able to get a lot of sales. Now, here's the thing. Here's what I want to say, what I'd like to say to eBay. Do you favor those people who have hundreds or hundreds upon hundreds of listings or maybe thousands? I mean, are they, I mean, it stands to reason the more you have, the more you're higher up in the search ranking. But what happens to a small guy like me? I can't afford to go out and source every day. You know, I don't know about you guys. Maybe you can. I can't. I can't afford to source every day. Uh, it's not in the budget. And I don't want to buy stuff and be... Uh, be overridden with you know, items that have been laying around for six months or a year. I have some items that have been there for two years. Now, some people say, two years, get rid of it. But I paid for it, so what am I going to do? Some people may say, well, you could always uh, you know, write it off. That's true. But I don't really itemize because, you know, I don't. Um, the sales are not that great where for me to go into itemization right now. Um, so, you know, these are things you got to take into consideration. But in regards to uh, people quitting their day job, you know, their nine to five, yeah, you may want to th think about that. You know, like they're always saying, it goes, uh, the grass is always greener on the other side. Um, yeah, I would love to make this business flourish and make a, a decent living out of it, but it's been kind of hard. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, for those who've been with me for uh, quite some time, for those who, the subscribers who've been sticking with me through thick and thin, I just want to say thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And I do appreciate the new um, subscribers that uh, you know, recently subscribed to my channel. I, I appreciate it, you guys doing that. Thing. And I hope you like the content I put out. But, you know, I, like I said again, you know, um, I've been through a lot of ups and downs with this here. And, you know, when you're doing, and here's the other thing that kind of like impacts it, makes it a little more stressful at times, <clears throat> is when, you, when you're starting a YouTube channel. 
Uh, and I'm not saying to see it as a deterrent. Believe me, I mean, go for it. If you you know you could do both. And I'm, right now, I'm trying to do both. Um, creating a YouTube channel is. I'm not saying it's difficult, but the thing is, going in that direction with that outside of putting eBay on the side or doing both, which I am. You know, coming up with content on a daily basis is sometimes is hard. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Um, yeah, people might say, well. I got 1,051 or 1,052 videos. I, to be honest with you, I lost kind of count. I don't, half the times, I don't even count how many videos I have. I have to look at the counter on when I do my videos, when I check them out. I say, oh my God, that's how many I have. You don't really, people may say, how could you not know? Because sometimes, I mean, now I know, but you know, there's times like when I was getting into it, I wasn't even paying attention because people ask my relatives, how many videos you got? I, say, I, I, go, I go, you know what? I forgot. I got even bother keeping track of it anymore. But coming up with, with good content is, is the hard part. Um, if you're a vlogger, I'm also a vlogger too. Outside of uh, you know doing a reselling news and let's talk eBay, like I said, I do vlogging as well. Um, it, it could be about anything—the equipment I'm using, uh, how I set my back, my green screen. Well, I don't use a green screen; I use a white screen, as you can see behind me. Um, well, you can't. Cause sometimes they, I change the backgrounds, but I use a white screen. Uh, I took uh, the camera equipment I use, the video editing software I use, which I love, Filmora 8.76 version. I use that exclusively. Uh, in conjunction with the, um, sometimes I use Filmora 9. That's a new one you could download for free. Um, and also um, Cyberlink Power Director 14. That's another one I use in conjunction with Filmora. Uh, and I, I'll, what I do is I'll take certain uh, bits of information there, whatever graphics or photos, whatever from Cyberlink Power Director, import it in, uh, you know, in Filmora. And I, you know, I, I, Combine the two together, I can make a decent video with that. Now, I bought the other one. That's a licensed program. That's for me. I bought it. Uh, this one here is licensed, too. The Filmora, when I have the 8.76 version. Um, you know, these are programs I bought. So it's not like, you know, I download them off a website and say, like, oh, that guy downloaded these. I don't know this stuff like that. Um, how I got involved with Filmora is I remember seeing the commercials on YouTube. And uh, I, I liked it. I said, this is really a simplified software. I said, it's a lot more. It's a little more user-friendly and user-intuitive than, than uh, Cyberlink Power Director 14. I think so, anyway. Uh, because with Cyberlink Power Director 14, it seems like it's a little more an advanced like there. The way they got it set up, some people may beg to differ. But I'll tell you one thing. Um, I have also on here, outside of the, um, I got the Filmora, like I said again, right now I'm doing this on Filmora 8.76. There's the Filmora 9.2 version, which is the newer version it just came out with, and Filmora Pro. Now, the Filmora Pro, I have that one there. I think it's a lifetime usage, whatever, free, unlimited, whatever usage, something like that. But you're going to have the watermark, and as the other two, I don't. Um, the only reason why I think I got the other one for free, the free uh, without the watermarks, the Filmora 9, is because I purchased the first one, so it's an upgrade to it. But I tell you the truth, the Filmora, no, uh, Filmora Pro, um, that's that seems like a lot to a lot to learn to digress for me anyway. I mean, people may say, "I right, that's that's a piece of cake." You know, people like to learn at different paces, you know, so, but if you never get a chance, you could download it. I think you could download, well, definitely uh, Filmora 9. I think you could also download it for free as a trial basis on both Filmora 9 and Filmora Pro. I am not going to buy Filmora Pro um, right now. I don't know how much they want for it. I thought I'd seen an ad for it or something like that for like, that's about $99. They had a thing on there with 150 something like that. I'm not going to buy that because um, I already have, I, I'm using both right now. I'm using Filmora 8.76 version and Filmora uh, 9.2 version, the new one. So um, I'll toy around with the Filmora Pro. You know, just play around with it, see what it's all about, and uh, just to get an idea. You know, but if you want to buy it without the watermark, you know, if you want to use it, well, if you if you don't want the watermark, then you got to buy it outright. But I have like a, I think a free unlimited usage on it. I can use it all I want, and uh, you know. But the only thing is, on that, if you use a Filmora Pro, you're going to have the uh, the logo on there. You're going to get the watermark on it. But that's okay. Look, I love Filmora. Um, I've been using them exclusively. If you never tried it before, well, you guys ain't gonna probably download or have the one like I have, the 8.76 version. So that's the older version. But if you use it and you get really into it, great software. I highly recommend you check it out, especially if you're a person that's uh, into creating videos. But um, but I, I just want to leave this one thing though. Though, if you are thinking about starting a YouTube channel, um, think about good content you're gonna put out. My other video, I said, if you're going to do it, uh, do something you, that you love. Keep it real. Keep it simple. And find your passion or your niche. 
Uh, as I said once before, if you're a person that likes to bake, you're a woman that likes to bake, you could set your video camera up in front of your kitchen if you have one of those islands, and you could talk about what you're going to bake for the day, cupcakes, cake, whatever. Uh, you know, you could do a video like that. Uh, the other one is, I guess, if you're a person that does do it yourself, let's say you're a real worker, you want to make something out of wood. You might want to set your video camera up at your workbench, and you might say, well, this is how I create this little car, or I'm making this little sailboat out of wood, whatever. You know, share your, share your, your, uh, your inner uh, talents, so to speak, you know, what you're all about. You know, there's a saying, do what you love to do, and the money will follow. <laughs> In some cases, people follow, follow the money going out the door. No, but it's true. Um, I heard that story many, before, many times before, yeah, and they say, well, do what you love to do, and the money will follow. And it's true if you really think about it. Well, like what's that other saying? Yeah, it's like from that field of dreams, right? With Kevin Costner, build it and they will come, right? It's true. Um, having a YouTube channel out there is, you know, you're 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 being out there in an open forum where there's millions upon billions of people probably watching. I'm not saying they're all watching your particular video or mine, but they're out there, and uh, you know, you want to you want to captivate that audience, and you know, I always hear this in regards to you know with YouTube. Uh, when it comes to doing videos, um, thumbnails, keyword research, and good titles and descriptions, stuff like that. But for the most part, you want nice thumbnails, something that's going to be eye catching, because that's going to be like your intro. You know, that is your intro, basically. And I know it works with me. When I see uh, interesting topic, you know, like a thumbnail, so it's like, I'm going to click that on, you know, and I'll click it on, I'll watch it, you know. <coughs> Time for a swig of water. Can't get rid of snake and cough. I just got it a couple days ago. I'm sorry, folks. I really apologize. Um, but anyway, um, yeah. But if you got if you got an idea or a talent like that, you might want to share it. If you're a person that does photography, I know you probably say, yeah, but there's thousands of people that are doing things about what you're talking about. So you'll be a thousand and one. What are you gonna do? You're gonna you're gonna stifle yourself. You're gonna you're gonna, you're not gonna you're not gonna fulfill your dreams. If that's your dream, follow it. Remember, in order to have a dream, you got to have a dream, right? If you want for, in order for a dream to come true, you got to have a dream, right? Seriously, if everybody thought like that, I tell my kids that thing, my two daughters, if everybody thought like that, that you know everything is too hard. I always tell my kids this here: staying in the game is the hardest part. I uh, know what is it? Yeah, staying in the game is hard. Dr quitting is easy. It is. It's true. You know, or what's that other saying? The path to least resistance. People like to travel the path to least resistance. Something along that line. Um, you know, quitting is easy. Anybody could quit. It's staying in the game that's the hardest part. And that's the thing. Um, yeah, my channel's slow growing, but it's growing. You know, and uh, I'm, like I said, I'm grateful for the subscribers I have. I hope they like the content I put out, and I hope they keep coming back. Um, I think it's pretty good content. So, uh, you know, that's basically all I want to say right now. I, I, you know, it's getting late. It's going on 9 o'clock here. I think I'm going to call it a night. Like I said, I'm a little under the weather, unfortunately. Um, I would have done the video yesterday, but uh, I had a little problem with my computer as well. That's another reason why I also kind of like delayed uh, doing this video. So I would have had one for the 13th, but um, I ran into a problem with my computer. Uh, something had got corrupted, and I couldn't open up my Filmora 8.76 version, and I was on the hunt at my computer trying to find that particular application to reload it again I kept getting these errors I couldn't like access the program every time I clicked the icon I kept getting errors and I said like, oh my gosh and uh, that was due to um, I thought to say to Microsoft's uh, updates what they should have done was Microsoft I don't know if I said it in the beginning of this video or I was thinking about it uh, what they should do is let people know ahead of time you're gonna have uh, you know Windows has new updates coming up uh, you could do it at the end, like when you close it, it'll say updates. When you shut down, it'll say update and shut down. They could update it when I'm shutting it down. You don't do video. You don't do a video. You don't do updates <coughs> when a person's working on a computer. And uh, that's what happened. I couldn't get involved. I couldn't get into uh, Fomora 8.76. Some people said, why don't you just use a Fomora 9? I like Fomora 8.76. I am very used to it. I've been using it now for a couple of years, and I feel very good with it. So uh, for me, that's it. And it kind of upset the whole night. Um, I didn't go to bed till 1.30 in the morning. I was trying to find this thing. couldn't find it. 
you know, trying to find ways to download it, and I eventually came across one way, contacting uh, Phil Morris saying, can you give me a link, a download link for the 8.75, and they did, they sent me one. But uh, that was this morning. <laughs> I said, last night I was 1.30 in the morning, I said, I'm going to sleep. I said, that's it, I can't do it anymore. But it was so annoying, though, folks, you know. All right, listen, let me let you guys go. I'm rambling on over here. It's it's getting late, and uh, I, I'm... My parts all drying up over here. It's uh, I really do feel. I'm sorry, folks. I, I I apologize for the the coughing and hacking over there. But you know, I know people say, "Well, did you have to do a video tonight? You know, could you wait till you got better or whatever?" It felt better. Um, that's another thing with, with when you're doing videos, especially if you're a vlogger, you want to try to do it on a daily basis. Um, that's just the way it is. I love what I do, and. Uh, you know, I want to share stuff with you guys, and I want to get it out. I want to get it out too late. You know, I don't want to get this information out too late to you guys. So I'm hoping. I hope you get a takeaway from it. And if you do, like I said again, if you do, you want to drop a comment below. Say, hey, you know, thank you for sharing the information. That's fine. You know, if you want to give it a thumbs up, that's fine. But uh, I'm. That's what my channel is all about, folks. I want to help you guys. I'm not getting anything for this here. Just to just to close this out, my channel is not monetized. Okay, I need, in order for my channel to get monetized or even join a Patreon account or go into Super Chat, I think with Super Chat, I think you at least have to have 1,000 subscribers. I, I'm getting there, slow but surely, but I'm getting there. And my channel, for all intents and purposes, is growing organically, which is good. Um, <clears throat> I, I, I'm doing the best I could with it. And I, I try to put out, like I said, I don't try. I put out good, clean content. I think so. Some other people may bake the difference and say, well, you're just like all the other uh, YouTube channel guys out there, creators. You know, you're putting out information out there, whatever. But this is me right now. I'm talking about me. I'm not talking about the other creators. They're good. The other creators are good. They share a lot of good information out there, but I'm talking about me right now. And like I said again, as long as I'm sitting behind that webcam, you will not see me talking about religion or politics or using profanity on this channel. That's not what my channel is all about. <clears throat> I'm not saying, uh, does that make them bad that they do? No. Yeah, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not, I'm not here to make any derogative remarks or statements or whatever. And I'm not here to put anybody down in particular. I just don't go that route. And uh, as long as I'm up standing behind, like I said, sitting behind his desk and put my, make my videos with that little HP webcam up there, um, you're not going to see that stuff come out of my mouth. So, plain and simple. Guys, have a great night. I wish you all the best in eBay sales. I hope we all have a good year in sales. As you can see so far, for October, I didn't do so hot. November, mm, little sales. Nothing to write home about. But we'll see. Maybe things will pick up. Until next time, my name is Rich Pacini. Have a great day, great night, wherever you guys are. Wishing you all the best. Bye-bye for now.